Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome to Steve McNeil's Weird Video Game Segment, a title with a complete absence of assonance and all the alliterative value of a single read-through of the alphabet. It would have taken these guys literally seconds to come up with a better title, but they haven't bothered. Anyway, I am ambivalent at best to announce that my Weird Video Game of the Week this week is Redneck Rampage on the PC. Take a look at this. Released in 1997 by Zatrix Entertainment, no, me neither, the game follows two brothers, Leonard and Bubba, who have taken it upon themselves to kill everything in sight in Hickston, Arkansas, in order to rescue a pig and scupper an alien invasion. Sure, clearly it's not aged well graphically, but it's still a charming little game, and it's a slightly more interesting world to inhabit than the usual endless sequence of brown and grey corridors. Plus, the music's pretty good, and the voice acting's full of childish abuse directed at Leonard and Bubba that will definitely make you laugh in spite of yourself. Which is the thing I'm most confused about in terms of covering this game. It swears almost constantly. There's only two ways of showing you any gameplay at all from this on a daytime TV show. We can either show you the blandest moments from the game, like this, <laughs> or we can bleep out all the swearing, resulting in the underscoring of this feature sounding like an illegal rave gate crashing a barn dance, like this. I'm so which actually, on reflection, is pretty awesome. Hmm. Anyway, should you pick this game up? I don't care. But if you're under 18, you probably shouldn't, or I'll get in trouble with your mum. If you're over 18, you can pick it up online for just a few bucks. See, I'm already picking up the lingo. I'm a regular cowboy. I hate myself. The important thing is, if it looks like something you might have fun with, it won't break the bank to find out. OK, thanks, bye then. Oh, <laughs> hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome once again to the still amazingly lazily titled Steve McNeil's Weird Video Game Segment. As the show this week is about RPGs, my Weird Video Game of the Week this week is, on the PlayStation 2, Mr. Mosquito. Steve, mate, I hear you mumble. It's not really an RPG, mate. RPG stands for role-playing game. This is more of an action simulation. And you'd be right, dear viewer, you are right. But as it was put to me by these guys when they asked me to cover this game, yeah, but sort of an RPG, isn't it? I mean, you role-play being a mosquito. Anyway, they've said they're going to pay me so. Mr. Mosquito! This is a game where you play as the eponymous fly, enjoying his summer in the only way he knows how. Sneaking up on members of an unsuspecting family and sucking blood out of them to store up for the harsh winter ahead. Which begs the question, why am I playing these games? Last week they had me playing a game with loads of swearing in it, and this week they've given me a game about stealing blood from sleeping people's exposed legs. It, this shows on telly during the day. In fairness though, although this game is undoubtedly one of the weirdest I've ever played, it's actually surprisingly addictive. You have to go very carefully to avoid being spotted by your victims. They'll even attack you if you try to grab and run too quickly, and if you're swatted while sucking blood, it's instant death. The game also requires you to get your blood from specific parts rather than just grabbing it from wherever's most convenient because, you know, arm blood is very different to leg blood. I actually really enjoyed this one. If you can get past the slightly gruesome subject matter, it's a really engaging strategic game. So, if you've got a PS2 up in the attic, dust it off, get it down, find a second-hand copy of this and give it a go. If you think of yourself as a gaming aficionado, it's definitely a game you should try to play at least once. It's like nothing else you'll play. That is the end of my segment. OK, thanks, bye then. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Steve McNeil's Weird Video Games segment. 2014 Best Segment Title of the Year finalist at this year's prestigious and fictional Best Titles of Things Awards. Now, in previous weeks, they've had me playing games featuring blood-sucking mosquitoes and swearing hillbillies, so surely this week they'll have given me something more appropriate for a family-friendly TV show, right? Nope. This week, my Weird Video Game of the Week is, on the PC, the Zoo Race. Now, if you've not come across this game before, strap in. The easiest way to explain the premise is probably just to read to you directly from the official game story. So, here we go. After the Great Flood, Noah and the animals were very happy to be chosen to live on the Earth. Noah then declared the games a celebration to begin. The sons of Noah built race tracks and then encouraged the animal creatures to race in them. 
At the end of each race, a fireworks display is featured in honour of the winner and also the Lord. So, it's a game based on a fictional imagining of the fun Noah and the animals might have had after the ark hit land. I, mean, I, I guess if you're interested in imagining what might have happened in the downtime between various passages of the Bible, this could be worth taking a look at, if it was any good. Unfortunately, whilst this game seems to have been created in sincerity with that spirit, it is terrible. The graphics look like they were coded by someone who's never seen an animal before, although they clearly have seen hats before, as they've popped one on the top of each of the animals. My personal favourite would probably be Priscilla, the top hat-wearing pig. I'm pretty sure she's not mentioned in the original Old Testament story, although, in fairness, that doesn't mean she wasn't there. There was a lot of information to pass on from that period, and it's possible that hat-wearing pork-in-waiting wasn't highest on anyone's list of priorities. So, to summarise, this is the third week of me doing my weird video game feature for Video Game Nation, and so far I've played games with constant swearing and blood-sucking at the fore. And now, a bad game I have to very delicately cover because the subject matter is religion. All, all, all I'm going to say is, if you want to see a tap-dancing cougar in a hat surrounded by fireworks, or a bunch of shepherds pushing toxic waste barrels down a hill, I guess this could be the game for you. OK, thanks, bye then. Well, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome once again to Steve McNeil's Weird Video Game Segment. Hooray, it's Steve! I hear literally no one cry. We can't wait to find out what his weird video game is this week. Hopefully it's something a bit easier to play on this daytime TV show than the previous games which have found him floundering for ways to cover blood theft, curse words and religion. Well, dear viewer, as you may have suspected, I haven't. So my weird video game of the week this week is the free game on the PC Crypt World. Yeah, crypts. Underground stone chambers you keep dead people in. I mean, you know, you know, I was so excited when I got offered this gig. My, my own slot on a video game TV show covering a different game each week. It's only brilliant, but it's very quickly starting to seem like some spiteful vendetta designed to destroy my career before I've even got one. But I'm nothing if I'm not professional and they've told me I won't get paid if I don't, so let me tell you a little bit about this game. The developers describe Crypt Worlds, subtitle, Your Darkest Desires Come True, as a reflecting pool of the futility we all experience. It apparently replicates the banal conditions which define all our lives. You will collect gold, only to forget what point there is in collecting gold. You will grind against the walls of the crypts, yearning for any sensation in this lonely hell world. You will laugh, and then realise there is nothing to laugh about, and then cry. Then you'll cry even more. After several hours of this, your tears will flood the room, and you will suffocate as a result of your own realisations into the true nature of waking life. And remember, viewer, that's the words they deliberately chose to try to sell you their game. In all seriousness, it's free to download, really weird, and a very different open world experience from your Grand Theft Autos and Assassin's Creed. Plus, it lets you wee on things. So, if you're looking for a game that lets you wee on things, give it a Google, Crypt Worlds. Okay, thanks, bye then.